gonna make uh, cherry cinnamon. Uh, so what I do here is I use uh, flavored sugar, and here is actually um, a pretty interesting. Um, if you can see here up close, uh, this is actually called flossing or floss sugar. It's actually basically like a cotton candy sugar, um, and this is actually called cherry berry. Um, out of all the ones I've actually tried, this has actually been my my best one. And of course, um, you can actually you know as far as like people always ask like what, how much do you put in. Pretty much, I just throw it in there, and pretty much I've never had a complaint. Um, there's, of course, always too little, but there's pretty much never really such a thing as too much. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do the, uh, the, cherry, the, the cherry cinnamon. And the cherry cinnamon will actually be done today um, here at the market. So i got the flame going, and the flame is too nice to heat up. similar to kettle corn. Uh, kettle corn will be a uh, uh, little sugar, little salt, and of course with the cane sugar. This I can just throw this, the, the cherry on top, as well as my cinnamon. I got this at Sam's Club for about nine bucks, nine eight bucks. And these are the ones or the little one. So, how I actually tell them my oil's ready? There's actually going to be little bubbles here in the in the popcorn. Just experiment as you go along. I mean, work, I mean, pretty much, you know, you never had too much. And so with this, but for me, I, uh, there's various uh, people, you know, as far as paddles go. I always prefer to use the wood paddle because uh, I, I like it better than the metal one. But um, it all depends on what your county is favor uh, can actually, you know, regulate here. And of course, what I'm doing is pretty much only stirring at the very bottom. And as long as you stir at the bottom. We'll be all set and ready to go here in a minute. We'll pop up here in a few minutes. I had one hit me in the eye last year. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wow. 
one out, one hit you. Yep. It's all good. And pretty much it takes three to five minutes per batch, but since it's already in the fall, the bowl is a little colder than normal, so it'll take a little bit longer. Alright, then go this way while I jump it. So now that this has cooled off, pretty much, now you can actually see it, see it be red a little bit, and it's still pretty hot, so pretty much um, this, at this point it's still really warm, so it's going to take probably about another five minutes to divide up the sugar, and once the sugar cools down, um, uh, you can actually get the cheese off of it. Alright, well this is uh, Smitty's Kettle Corn, you can like me on Facebook. Um, feel free to send me an email or any questions you may have, uh, text me or whatever, and, uh, and, and then of course subscribe on YouTube. Thank you.